Qatar lashes out at Swedish authorities after a far-right Islamophobe lit the Quran on fire. Doha News speaks to mothers who say maternity leave is inadequate in Qatar. Germany's interior minister speaks about her One Love armband protest for the first time. And finally, another beautiful moment between Ashraf Hakimi and his mother. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar has condemned Sweden for allowing a far-right Islamophobe to burn a copy of the Holy Quran outside the Turkish embassy in Stockholm. In a statement, Qatar's Ministry of Foreign Affairs said, quote, This vile incident is an act of incitement and a serious provocation to the feelings of more than 2 billion Muslims in the world. On Saturday, Rasmus Paladan, the head of the Danish far-right political group Hardline, led a protest in which he burned a copy of the Holy Book while spewing anti-Muslim and anti-immigration rhetoric. Turkey has also lashed out and summoned the Swedish ambassador, calling on other Muslim nations to follow suit. Here in Qatar, mothers who spoke to Doha News have outlined their concerns over what they say is an inadequate number of days for maternity leave. As per law, working mothers can take 50 days off, with some extensions possible for isolated cases. However, a number of mothers say this is just not enough time to return to routine life after a difficult nine months of pregnancy and the post-labor troubles. To hear more about the issue, head over to our website. Now, Germany's interior minister has has spoken out about her protest at the World Cup in Qatar. During the tournament, Nancy Faser wore the One Love armband. The German official faced heavy criticism for her disrespect to wishes laid out by Qatar, which had called on visitors to respect its rules and values. However, Faser said she was in fact protesting against FIFA's banning of the armband on the pitch, which also triggered players of the German national team to launch their own protest before kickoff. Faser had caused a spat between Doha and Berlin weeks ahead of the World Cup after she made offensive comments about the Gulf's State. And finally, Moroccan superstar Ashraf Hakimi was crowned the best Arab sportsman of 2023 during the Joy Awards held in Riyadh. The PSG right wing back accepted the award with his mother by his side. He made global headlines here in Qatar during the World Cup last year when he was seen dancing with his mother following the team's victory. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.